Uh, the wind today out outdoors, trying to walk or get around, not not the best experience. Struggle. Yeah, I was just say we've had a lot of people who said they just want to be inside uh, yeah. today as well, just because of you know this type of stuff here. Nice sunshine we finally got eventually today, but there's so much wind blowing around out there. The old windmill there down uh, just east of Lamoni by the interstate, it's spinning quite a bit still here as we head to the evening hours. Northwest breeze, 29 miles per hour down at the Lamoni Airport. Last gust I saw was 43. Three miles per hour down that direction. 52 is the temperature. Temperature's really not bad, but obviously the breeze doesn't help. The breeze will get a little bit better as we head through tonight and tomorrow. It's still going to be windy though tomorrow. It's just not going to be 50 mile per hour gusts like we've seen through much of today. Winds ramp up again as we head towards the first half of the weekend, and our weekend is also when the next rain chance returns for most of the state. The winds though, the big story. Flashing gold numbers right now, those are your current wind gusts. So the last gust here in Des Moines, 47 miles per hour, 48 up in Ames, 46 Mason City. Everyone has at least a steady breeze. Most places around 20 plus miles per hour. And the, as far as skies go, it depends where you're at. Western half of Iowa have been sunny most of the day. Eastern half of Iowa still stuck under clouds. Some snowflakes over towards the Mississippi River. A little bit of light radar returns from, say, about Tama down through Grinnell and Montezuma over towards Oskaloosa. But the lowest levels of the atmosphere, the lowest mile, pretty dry. So any raindrops probably not really reaching it to the ground as they're blowing around. All this spinning around low pressure centered over Lake Michigan. Really strong churning low pressure center. And since there's high pressure not too far up towards the uh, international border in North Dakota, we're caught right in between that big giant pressure change. Lots of wind moving in from the north. That low will take a little while to get away from us here as we head towards tomorrow. So winds get better, but they're not gone just completely. Later tonight, wind gusts you see here drop to about 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. So we'll have some improvements. That's where they'll stay into tomorrow too. Notice our skies look similar tomorrow as well. Eastern half of Iowa still probably some clouds. Western half of Iowa full sunshine, kind of a sun cloud mix here in the middle of the state. Winds do finally get better then as we head past tomorrow and then tomorrow night and into th a Friday. Friday's when there we go. Wind speeds now down to gusts at most 15 miles per hour, probably a steady breeze only at about 5 to 10 out of the north and west and a lot more sunshine for the end of the work week. Temperatures will slowly build up to 50s tomorrow. I mean, basically a carbon copy tomorrow today without the strong, strong winds. Nearing 60 as we head towards the first half of the weekend into the 60s then early next week, although with a couple of rain chances scattered in there. Tonight, just still some gusty winds, 30 mile per hour gusts. The temperature dropped down to about freezing. Next rain possibility comes out towards about Saturday night. That's when our next system moves on in ahead of it. That's when the winds will ramp up again Saturday during the day. So sunny and windy Saturday, some showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two Saturday night and into Sunday morning. And then as we head towards early next week, Kind of a sun cloud mix. We'll be watching for eclipse day there on Monday, but most of the rain it looks like will move off to our north. We'll keep an eye, of course, on that part of the forecast. All right.